uh, Steve indicated uh, my mom died uh, fairly young. I was 27 when she died. And uh, Romy was with my dad for, uh, for 31 years. And so just, it just struck me when I was driving around last night that uh, I've known her. I've been in, uh, certainly been an adult much longer than I, uh, w with her than I was with uh, my mom. I had adult conversations with her, or semi-adult conversations with her. And um, it was, uh, uh, Matt said, uh, which I talked about when you first meet uh, Romy. So I first met Romy. Uh, my, my dad brought her over to our house, I think. And uh, I remember uh, thinking, well, uh, she's funny, but she is different. And it's, <laughs> and it's, it's just going to be my evil stepmother. Uh, but uh, it, uh, through 30 years, we found that that wasn't true. And it was, um, uh, I mean, she kind of took some mothering functions would, in the sense that she'd tell me what she thought about things in her own particular way. So that's my, one aspect of it. The other aspect of it is that uh, she was with my dad for so long. And... Um, uh, I kind of loved him for 30 years, 31 years, however many years it is, and uh, you know, took care of him. And then, the, although I know they have the same basic core values, they approach those core values in a different way. They're kind of the yin and the, yin and the yang. And so, uh, as uh, Matt and several people have said, it's life was never um, dull. It's, uh, I mean, it was... You know, it's a great thing for my dad, and uh, I appreciate Romy for keeping him in line for all those years. Hi, I'm Greg Gibbons. I was a young associate lawyer at the firm of Simon Reeves and Roberts when Romy came to be our office manager, receptionist, slash facilitator of everything. <laughs> and um, everyone did become family, including everyone in that law firm. And I, I will share quickly with you a story that, that I, I will, will stay with me my entire life, especially as long as I'm practicing law. I was in a deposition one day, and it was a heated deposition. We were going back and forth, and I hated this lawyer on the other side, and he hated me. And he was wrong about something, and I knew it. And I said, okay, well, so I took a break. And I went to the law books to go get the case to show this guy that I was right. So as I was standing, you know, I got a big shelf of books here, you know, floor to ceiling law books. And I'm standing there, and I'm looking at this thing. I'm looking, looking up a case. And Romy comes up, Greggy? <laughs> yeah, Romy, what? Do you remember your great uncle, Norval? <laughs> yeah. He's dead. A tractor rolled over on, in the far, on the farm. He's dead. I mean, timing. And, I, and about that time, the phone rings. And she, Sorry, Greggy. Simon Reeves and Roberts may help you. Off she went to something else. But I, I will never forget that about Romy. It was just, she just thought I had to know right at that moment. It was compelling. Um, if the world were filled with Romies, think of how wonderful it would be. There wouldn't be any strife. There wouldn't be any war. There wouldn't be any discontent. You wouldn't have to worry about locking your doors. Um, it truly would be a wonderful place. And we were all blessed and privileged to have known Romy. I have one prayer to God, and then I hope that he invites her into his home and holds her in his loving arms forever and ever. We'll miss Rome. Thank you. My name is Hillary Howell, and 
like many of you, Romy was my best friend and my surrogate mother. She was my shrink. She was my cheerleader, my matchmaker. Um, usually in these situations, I would ask her what to do, like if one of her sons had said earlier. And she would always tell me, don't make a Camille scene out of it. And at the time, I had no idea what she was talking about. <laughs> Evidently, it's a Greta Garbo movie. Um, I first met Romy uh, about six years ago, and I was working. I was going through divorce, and I was forced to go back to work immediately. And the first place that came calling was Talbert's, or Talbot's in Chandler, Arizona, which was um, way out of my age range, and I was not excited to go back to work. And I took a job as an assistant manager, and the store manager, Bobby, was her name, on the first night that I was going to close by myself, was telling me that I would have no problem. You're going to be closing with Romy tonight, and she's 68 years old, but she's so cool. And I remember thinking, what? <laughs> it's going to be a long night. And <laughs> my life changed forever the night that I met Romy. Um, I found out that she had a cat named Winnie Ruth Judd, <laughs> which scared the hell out of most people. <laughs> But it reeled me right in, and I found out that she knew more about um, books and movies and music and television than anybody my age. Uh, I didn't have much family. My children were very small. They were three and five, and she became a mumsy to my children. Um, she performed her greatest magic trick in May of 2009. Um, one of Matt's friends, Casey is his name, had lost his girlfriend to cancer. And when Casey was going through that, Romy was there for him. She'd call him and check in on him and make sure he was doing well. And she'd tell me about Matt's friend that she cared about so much. And some months later, she was telling me that she wanted to hook me up with Casey. <laughs> and she set it up so that we all had dinner one night. Vicki Canelli, you were there. <laughs> and he's become my love. And he's become a part of my family. And he's brought more joy to my life and to my children's life than I could have ever wished for. And she brought that gift to me. And I will always be so grateful to her for that. <sighs> she became childcare because Casey and I were going out all the time. Uh, I have a funny story about Romy. When she came and stayed with my kids, Casey and I came home one night and her hair was sticking out all over the place. And we walked in and she's like, do you like my hair? <laughs> she let Avery play beauty parlor on her all night long, loved it. I know that she had saved a game that she told me that she used to play with Matthew when he was young called Shut the Box, and she brought it over for Jaden, and they played all night long. Um, I do have something else I want to share with you. She just was so good to my children, and she sent this email to me back from 2009. She found these hair products, and we all know how much Romy loved to order online beauty products. She had, must have had thousands of dollars. Um, she wrote this email to the people at the company. I guess their names are Karen and Heather. The name of the company is Inus, I think. So she writes, Dear Karen, Heather, after ordering a sample of Inus, I couldn't wait to smell for myself. And when it came, I loved it. Now this AM came the <laughs> coup de théâtre. <laughs> While having coffee with a friend and her five-year-old daughter hugged me, my daughter Avery, and said, you smell good, Romy. She says, what else does a person need? I came home directly and placed my order, body lotion and shower gel thrown in. 